بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد uh, Today بإذن الله we're going over the باب الخامس the fifth chapter the last chapter في الاتكاف about اتكاف yeah. so إن شاء الله by next lesson next lesson will be our last lesson إن شاء الله وفيه المسائل and it has some issues المسألة الأولى the first issue we're going to address is تعريف الاتكاف وحكمه and that is the definition of what is اتكاف and its ruling so diving into this we said تعريفه الاتكاف اللغة لزوم الشيء وحبس النفس عليه so in the language اتكاف means to stick to something and to hold oneself there yeah, or upon it and in the sharia وفي شرعي لزوم المسلم المميز مسجدا لطاعة الله عز وجل so in the sharia it basically means itikaf is to stick for the muslim to stay um, a muslim who can distinguish between right and wrong to stay in the masjid and that is, this is in obedience to allah so that's what uh, itikaf is and it's a form of worship وَحُكْمَهُ is ruling وَهُوَ سُنَّةٌ وَقُرْبَةٌ إِلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَى so it is a sunnah so it's not wajib like the prayer it's a sunnah so it's optional and it's the nearness to Allah, uh, uh, the Most High. And Allah Zawajal and the Quran, and Tahira Baytiya Lit Ta'ifina, Wal Akifina, Waruka is Sajood, and then Surah Baqarah, verse 125, which means I'm purifying my house, the Masajid, so, by, um, uh, so the purify my house uh, by uh, performing Tawaf, so compilation. Uh, itikaf, staying in the masjid, and by bowing and prostrating, making sujood. So this ayah is a proof uh, of its legislation of itikaf, even in the nations that preceded it. وَقَوْلَهُ تَعَالَى on the speech of Allah, وَلَا تُبَاشِرُوهُنَّ وَأَنْتُمْ آكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ And the ayah, another proof of uh, is, and do not approach your women for sexual relations while you are in the state of itikaf in the masajid, fil masajid. That is surah, uh, Al-Baqarah again, 187, verse 187. So that is the two proofs from the uh, Quran, now we're from the Sunnah, and Aisha, radiallahu anha, may Allah, and upon the authority of Aisha, the mother of the believers, may Allah be pleased with her. And the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, كان al العشر الأواخر من رمضان حتى توفاه الله. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to perform itikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Yeah, uh, until Allah, you know, caused him to pass away. Yeah, Allah took his soul. And again, here we look at the notes here that is Bukhari and Muslim, so it's Sahih. وَعَجْمَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ أَنَا مَشْرُوئِيَتَهِ وَأَنَّهُ سُنَّةٌ لَا يَجِبُ عَلَى الْمَرْءِ الْمَرْءِ إِلَّا أَنْ أَنْ يُجِبَهُ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ كَأَنْ يَنْذِرَهُ كَأَنْ يَنْذِرَهُ كَأَنْ يَنْذِرَهُ فَثَبَتَتْ so the Muslims are in agreement, unanimously agree on the legislation of itikaf, and that is a sunnah, it's not wajib. It's not wajib upon a person except if a person makes it wajib upon themselves. How will one do that? By making a vow. Oh Allah, a vow that I'm going to make an itikaf. So now it's become wajib upon you. You made it for yourself. And it's affirmed that it, you know that that is sunnah, uh, it's sunnah and it's legislation, uh, it being sunnah and that is legislated from the kitab and the sunnah and the consensus of the Muslim, yeah, Muslims, the Muslim scholars. So that was the first affair, defining and the ruling. Now we go on to Masala Athaniya, Shurut al Itikaf. What are the conditions for Itikaf? Al itikaf ibadatun laha shirut la tasihu illa biha wahiya. So itikaf is an act of worship and it has conditions. And if the conditions are not fulfilled, then it's not correct. 
it's not going to be accepted except by having these conditions present and they are number one al awwal an yakun al mu'takif musliman mumayyizan aqilan the first is that the person who's making i'tikaf he's got to be a muslim he's got to be able to distinguish between right and wrong and he's got to have intellect yeah fala yasihu al i'tikaf min al kafir so i'tikaf from a disbeliever it won't be accepted wala al majnun so i'm not from a person who's ment- mentally ill yeah so he won't be accepted from him because he doesn't have the a- akl intellect intelligence present wala asabi ghair al mumayyiz so he says i'm not a child that can't distinguish between right and wrong so maybe a child who knows what's going on and before the age of puberty maybe he's six or seven and he wants to perform itikaf then alhamdulillah it's accepted because he knows the difference between right and wrong but it depends on the child huh? each individual child so as long as they can tell the difference and they can make, and they know what they're doing that is an act of worship they're staying there and they know the conditions for itikaf then yeah that then it's accepted from them so as for reaching puberty and being you know masculine or being a man then these are not two conditions they are not the, from the conditions so uh, itikaf is accepted from other than someone who's reached puberty so so a child who's under the age of uh, puberty and as you said he can distinguish between right and wrong mm-hmm. uh, then his itikaf is accepted and likewise from a woman from women itikaf is accepted yeah. so number two so the uh, is niya intention the qawli sallallahu alayhi so according to the statement of the first sallam indeed actions are by the intentions we know the hadith sahih فَيَنْوِ الْمُؤْتَكِفِ لَزُومَ الْمُؤْتَكِفِ لَزُومُ لَزُومَ مُؤْتَكِفِهِ قُرْبَةً وَتَعَبُّدًا لِلَّهِ أَزْوَجَلْ So the one who's making itikaf, he makes an intention of remaining in the place of itikaf, yeah, as a seek, as a way of getting closer to Allah and worshipping Allah Azawajal. So niya needs to be present. Number three, an yakun al itikaf fi masjid. Number three, that the the itikaf can only be in the masjid. The Quran says, "Hala wa antum akifuna fil masajid." And we mentioned this ayah before. Allah mentions, and while you are in the state of itikaf in the masajid, in the places of worship, while if it lihi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, haythu kana yatakifu fil masjid. And according to the actions of the Prophet وسلم, whereby he would make itikaf in the masjid and it was it's not being reported from him that he made itikaf in other any other place other than the masjid. So some people now have made an innovative practice, especially among the women, where they make itikaf in the houses. No, this is not correct. We're going to find that out uh, later soon, inshallah. Number four, an yakun al masjid al ladi yatakaf fihi tuqamu fihi salat al jama'ah. And that the fourth condition is that uh, the place that you make the itikaf, uh, it's got to be a place where the uh, you know the five daily prayers are established in congregation. وذلك إذا كانت مدة الاتكاف so yeah, that, that basically that it needs to be a place where the the obligatory prayers, uh, you know, they are established. Uh, and, and the one who's making itikaf if he's got a person if he's got to be one who has to be uh, the one uh, present for jama meaning who's got to be present for the salah in the massage in jama is the men yeah and the one who's reached puberty yeah 
So for them, it is a vulnerability to be in a masjid where their five daily prayers are established. Lena itikaf fi masjid la tuqam fi sala fi salat al jamaa yaktadi tarq al jamaa wa hiya wajib alayh. So because in the masjid, in a masjid where salah is not established, like all of the five daily prayers, maybe is you do find places in some Muslim countries like in Saudi and other than uh, where they'll have small masjids on the side of the road, you know, for travelers to pray. Uh, and so in that type of masjid, the five daily prayers are not established, only the prayers when the travelers stand, stop there. So itikaf is not made there. Uh, because he, uh, he'll have to leave the jama'ah. And that is wajib upon him. So he has to go to a masjid where the jama'ah is established. Because you can't leave, you know, a wajib for a sunnah. So all the, you know, repeating, uh, you know, the, the, the one who's making itikaf has to keep leaving, yeah, every time when it's time for salah. So that, that's not right. وَهَذَا يُنَافِي الْمَقْصُودِ مِنَ الْإِتِكَافِ And this contradicts the intent or, uh, for, in making itikaf of staying in the masjid. أَمَّا الْمَرْأَةُ فَيَسِحُ إِتِكَافَهَا فِي كُلِّ مَسْجِدِ سَوَاءً أُقِيمَتْ فِيهِ الْجَمَاءَ أَمْ لَا هَذَا إِذَا لَمْ يَتَرَتَّبْ عَلَى الْإِتِكَافِ هَا فِتْنَا So before we go into that, we also like to mention that a person can leave the masjid when he's making itikaf that he has to focus on ibadat you know some people would ask about you know uh, you know bringing all the things into the masjid no focus on ibadat on your quran on your uh you know when they're studying arabic as well on the side on dhikr you know uh and your worship optional worships and then for example uh, one the, the women for come over to drop some food and it's night you can, as the way of the action of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you can accompany the women back to the house to walk them so that they feel safe and then go back to make the uh, to the masjid for itikaf. So you can leave in certain instances, uh, so that is also permissible. Now, then the sheikh, the, sheikh, the scholars, uh, they mentioned that as for a woman, then it's okay for her to make, uh, and it's correct for her to make itikaf in, in, all, the mas in all the masajid. Uh, so in the masjid, uh, uh, even the ones that the jama'ah is not established, meaning the five daily prayers are not established in congregation, because it's not wajib upon her, it's wajib upon a man to be praying in congregation, while it's best for a woman to pray in her home, but she can attend the masjid. So she can attend either masjid where they are. So this is a common issue in Muslim countries that um, the smaller masjid, I use for some of the prayers. Uh, so yeah, we'll go into that later. We're here. I mentioned that the Juma, for example, the Juma prayer, they close the smaller masjids and they go to the big masjid to perform the uh, itikaf. Sorry, they perform the Juma. Uh, so with a woman anyway, she can perform in any of the masjids, even those which are, the five daily prayers are not established because it's not wajib upon her. Uh, and as long as it, the itikaf, uh, itikaf doesn't lead to fitna. So at the time of the, you know, uh, the mother of believers, they would erect a tent in the masjid and they would uh, make itikaf. And as long as you can find a separate place for the women where it won't cause fitna in the masjid, then that's uh, permitted for them. But as you said earlier, the women don't make itikaf in their house. It's only in the masjid. So that is a bidah innovation. فَإِن تَرَتَّبَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ فِتْنَ مُنِعَتْ So if that leads to a fitna, that the women attending the masjid or making itikaf in the masjid, maybe in certain communities it's difficult for them and it leads to a fitna, then yeah, then they, they are prevented from making itikaf in the masjid. وَالْأَفْضَلْ أَنْ يَكُونَ الْمَسْجِدَ الَّذِي يَعْتَكِفُ فِيهِ تُكَامْ فِيهِ الْجُمْعَةِ لَكِنْ ذَلِكَ لَيْسَ شَرْطًا لِلْإِتِكَافِ and is, the sheikh, the scholars mentioned that it's better for the uh, the itikaf to be in a masjid where the uh, juma is established, but uh, but if it isn't, then that's not a condition from itikaf, so it's still acceptable. 
as you mentioned, smaller masjids close in the Muslim lands uh, and they'll go to the main big one, you know, for Jum'ah. Yeah. So, as was the, uh, you know, the Asal, the origin in the past. But now, obviously, we've got big, big cities and uh, more than one masjid in a city. So, number five, the condition is at tahara min al hadith al akbar. That a person is pure and is free from the major impurity. So that is a condition for itikaf. Also, just before that, we're just saying itikaf, it can be done anytime. Yeah. So you can even go to a masjid for your salah and have the inia that you're making itikaf. Stay there for, you know, half an hour, whatever time you stay there and you get rewarded. So itikaf is not just in the last third of Ramadan. Yeah. Or as the Prophet also made, Itikaf in Shawwal as well, the month after Ramadan as well, in the masjid. So, even if you get into the masjid, go to read some Quran, you know, uh, having that niyyah of Itikaf, you'll be rewarded for Itikaf, even if it's a short time, you know. So, uh, so yeah, uh, then mentions at Tahara, Bil Hadith, Akbar. So, being pure from uh, the major impurity. So it's not فَلَا يَسِهُ إِتْتِكَافِ الْجُنُبِ So it's not correct for the person, uh, the one who has major defilement from sexual relations uh, or any form of sexual act, uh, sexual impurity, that he uh, make إِتْتِكَافِ وَلَا الْحَائِدِ Until obviously he needs to clean himself and take a ritual bath, then he can make إِتْتِكَافِ And not for the one uh, who may, who's uh, you know uh, menstruating? She can't make itikaf, uh, and not the one who postpartum bleeding no fasa. Li adam jawaz mak haulai fil masjid, because they because of the ruling of not permit them be not permitted to stay remain in the masjid. So they need to take the bath. Obviously, uh, the menstruating and the postpartum bleeding uh, for the women they're not allowed in the masjid. Yeah. So, As for fasting, then it is not a condition for a person to make itikaf. Yeah. So, maybe, you know, uh, so now, as you said, outside of Ramadan, you make itikaf. Or whenever you go masjid, make itikaf, even for a short amount of time, you don't need to be fasting. Uh, as to you know, uh, as pertaining to what was narrated from Ibn Umar, uh, may Allah be pleased with both of them, his father as well. I mean, and Umar Qala that his father Umar said, Ya Rasulullah, he said, Oh Messenger of Allah, inni nazartu fil jahiliyati an a'takifa laylatan fil masjid al haram. Fakala aw fi binadrik. So the Prophet, uh, so Umar said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, indeed I vowed in Jahiliya, you know, in the pre, pre Islamic period, that I will make itikaf a night in the masjid, in Masjid Haram. So the Prophet said, Fulfill your oath. And that is Sahih Hadith, and it's here, as he said, is Bukhari and Muslim. So it's Sahih Hadith. So it shows you when 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 is uh, fasting? Fasting is from fajr, from dawn to sunset. So that is the day. When did he say night time? He wants to make it calf in night time. So what did the Prophet say? Fulfill it. So can you fast at night time? No. So falaw kan al sawm shartan lam lam saha itqafuhu fil layl. So if if uh, fasting was a condition, then his itikaf at night wouldn't be correct. Because there's no fasting, as I said, at night time. Because there are two acts of worship that uh, are not connected, uh, separate. فَلَا يُشْتَرَتْ لِإِحَدَاهُمَا وَجُودَ الْأُخْرَى so it's not a condition for one of them, the presence of the other. Yeah. So alhamdulillah, it's a great time in Ramadan. You know, if you can't make itikaf for the last 10 nights, 
what you can do is whenever you go to the masjid make the knee of your tikaf try stay there as long as possible even if you can stay for a day that'd be great you know and get the reward seek the reward uh, inshallah uh, i'm gonna finish there and then the uh, next lesson will be our last lesson and that will be on wednesday subhanakumahu wa bihamdik ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tuba alaykum